Hello everybody, welcome back to another fossil hunting video. In today's video, I'm going to be having a look on the beach and seeing if I can spot any more interesting fossils to show you. Remember guys, if you do enjoy watching my fossil hunting videos, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see my future fossil hunts and give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Thanks. So I'm currently having a look through all of this sandstone that's come down in a big heap. Most of it here is mud, but some of the sandstone and other bits of limestone may have possibly been washed in from the tide and I found a good few little bits around here so it's worth having a look around just in case I can spot anything. This just caught my eye. It's very water-worn but it looks like it's a piece of fossilised wood. It's got calcite veins running through it. Unfortunately today, the beach is super sanded over where there's usually loads of fossils laying and other bits of rocks. It's absolutely full of sand, which kind of ruins it for fossil collecting, but there's not much you can do about it. You just need to try and look in other places. So guys, I made it over the top. I'm walking around now. I'm trying to get as much fossiling time in before it goes dark, which won't be too long because the light visibility is already dropping quite a bit. Quite interesting, a big old chunk of pyritic fossilised wood. It's always good to have a little bit of shingle about because then you get the nice finds usually. Just pick this nodule up, the perfect looking nodule pretty much. And you can already tell there's an ammonite in it running right through here. Brilliant. Don't know whether you can spot it guys, but there's a hildy here. Looks like it's damaged and thought, yeah, it's only a section. That's a shame. I don't know whether you can make that out here, but it looks like it's a coprolite inside this rock. Could be wrong because it's quite water worn, but I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. Fossilized poo. Well worth coming out. Look what I've just found. Well chuffed. So I picked it up and you might notice some odd little shapes on this side. So I straight away looked at the reverse side and you can see a huge ichthyosaur vertebra. It looks like there's at least two in here. I'm gonna shove it in my bag and then I'll take it home and have a closer look at it and see exactly what I've got. And I'm well chuffed with just finding that. It's a bit of a shame there's most likely not going to be a sunset tonight because it's so cloudy. Because that would have been beautiful to see. Can you see that? Just a little one, but it's incomplete, unfortunately. Whoa, I almost missed that. Look at the size of that fish. Big sharp teeth on it again. Look how wet the cliffs are all looking now. Best to stay well away from them, just to be safe. That's a big looking nodule. Oh, well worth a tap. Look at that. Let's see if it's any good. Come on, break off. Oh, it's a septarian nodule. There's a partial ammonite in here. Very partial. There's some shells on the back of here. This looks like it's going to be a good ammonite. Can you see it? I can already see the keel. Poking out here. Brilliant, yep. You can see the keel running right through the rock. Picked up this little bit. It may look like just a normal warm bit of rock, but it's actually a shell. It's a bivalve. Very sea worn though. That's a big shame. Someone else has beaten me to that. That's a negative of a lovely pseudo. Can you spot that one? 
of the little section just missing. Can you see that little guy? Very small, but there's definitely a dock in there. Right, split open. And it's empty. There was a little bellamite just here. I've pretty much done for today. There's not much daylight left at all. So I'm going to make my way back up. That's really cool to see. I'm just having a really quick look around this little beach area underneath the abbey and I've just spotted this little ammonite poking out here. Obviously it's high tide so I can't get round. One thing I've noticed is if you're into sea glass and collecting bits of pottery, like you can see this bit here near my foot. There's sea glass and pottery all over so if that's your cup of tea then definitely have a look here if you're ever in the area. Now it's time for me to show you that partial ichthyosaur paddle. This is a lovely quiet little spot to come and spend five to ten minutes just watching the sea going in and out. Obviously it's high tide pretty much now. I have got some footage of when I actually found the find so you can see exactly how I saw it and let me know in the comments if you would have picked it up and realised there's anything decent inside. Here it is, after it's been fully prepared. I really love how the paddle digits are spaced out really evenly. It's a bit of a shame that the rest of the paddle wasn't there. You can pretty much see it would have been a complete paddle when it came out of the cliffs, but unfortunately I only found this little bit. part of the ichthyosaur's flipper bone they would have had four of these two small ones at the back and two larger ones at the front and they use these to obviously push themselves through the sea hopefully you've enjoyed this video guys remember if you want to see more of my fossil hunting videos in the future please consider hitting that subscribe button and giving the video a like if you've enjoyed it see you next time